True Friendship, Patience There was a little boy named Peter Pan and a sheep named Baba, or Pat. We will call the sheep Patricia because we can tell it's a girl. Peter looks like an Amish boy because he is wearing a straw hat. Peter is sitting in an old chair. It looks like a rocking chair. It is the kind of chair that Don McNeil could have in his shop in Brussels. Peter is feeding his lamb or trying to get it to drink. They're having a snack. The lamb is out in the field somewhere, and Peter is trying to coax him to eat something. Pat is his pet, or maybe he is trying to draw him into the fold. Maybe Peter wants to bring him in to shear him, but he's too young to shear. Pat is a pet sheep, so he follows humans. He wants food. Peter Pan reminds John of his sons, who were out playing with the sheep in the garage. He's trying to get the sheep. Patience. It takes a long time to coax the sheep to drink. The sheep is certainly not going to have a feast because the bowl is not very big. It's just a treat. He would have more to eat if he just ate the boy's straw hat. A New Friendship at Home There is a little girl named Tabitha and Herman the Crow. Tabitha is trying to lure the Herman the Crow into eating or drinking. Tabitha and Herman could be having a picnic or having tea together. They are making friends, trying to keep a friendship going. Herman is thinking it is time to eat and could be looking for grain, but Tabitha is giving the crow milk or water, maybe some juice or vodka. Tabitha is making an old-fashioned tea party. She has a glass, maybe trying to get Herman to drink. It would be hard for a crow to get its beak into the cup, but maybe he is drinking out of the cup. There is something else on the table that looks like cookies or a cake. Tabitha is looking very patient, friendly, and curious. She is trying to be patient, but she is also really trying to get Herman the Crow to do what she wants it to do. Tabitha has a bib on to keep herself clean. She is wearing a fancy dress. It looks like she has a bow on the top of her head. It looks like a birthday party, but there is no candle. Tabitha is trying to make Herman the Crow feel at home. They are eating. It could be a muffin or cookies or maybe a cake or a cookie. I would feed a crow bird seed. Maybe she made the tea party just for the bird. If Tabitha gives Herman the crow peanut butter, his beak would get stuck. Herman is full and flies away happy. Tabitha is a little bit disappointed and lonely that the bird flew away. Her mummy asks, how did your morning tea party go? Tabitha says, Mommy, I got a new friend. Tabitha and Whitey, let's go to the fair. Tabitha is back. Tabitha is with a rooster or hen. It looks like she's holding on to the hen, or maybe she's just showing affection. Maybe she's trying to ride it. You can't really tell if the chicken is a girl or a boy, but there is a comb on its head. It looks like a white rock chicken or a hen. Some kids would run away from a chicken, but Tab's going to give it a hug around the neck. She's showing off. She wants to make sure it doesn't run away. Tabitha and the chicken are out along the bushes, in the grass and the leaves. She is on the farmland with dandelions. When chicken are in the field, their feet are usually really strong. The grass is long and there's leaves on the ground. Tabitha has an unusual dress and blouse. She looks pretty dressed up to be in the field. Tabitha has a bow or ribbon in her hair. She's wearing a fancy bracelet, too. It looks like she's wearing her dad's belt. The belt really adds to the photo. The chicken's name is Whitey, and it is a rooster because of the tail feathers. Maybe Tabitha and Whitey came back from the local fair in Belgrave. Tabitha is hoping to win a prize for her rooster, maybe cotton candy or some corn. Tabitha looks about five or six years old. Her expression shows, hey, look what I caught as if she's surprised. But this must not be the first time she caught Whitey, because Whitey isn't scared of her. Tabitha looks very proud of Whitey. Tobacco Harvest Looks like tobacco. They're drying tobacco leaves. The two men are Bill and George. They look old. They're wearing white shirts like it's Sunday afternoon, but that's just to keep the sun off. They might get them dirty. 
There was a barn in the background, but it's a little small for a tobacco barn. Maybe Bill and George are pickers, or maybe they are co-owners of the project. They could be cousins, or they could be brothers. Maybe Bill and George own the field together. The one guy, Bill, has kind of a smile. They both look proud. George looks to be wearing oilskin overalls to protect himself from the tar. Bill's shirt is tucked in, so he must not be doing as much work. The man with the oilskin overalls is doing all the work. That's George. George is maybe mad or depressed because he's left out, or maybe he's not getting credit he deserves. Bill maybe needs to change into overalls to help George out a little more. Both of them might get stiff from holding the dry rack up like that. Looks like there's clouds, so they have to get the work done quickly. It looks like it's going to rain. Bill and George need to take the rack of tobacco to the kiln to get it out of the rain. There's lots of different grades of tobacco. <laughs> Tilsonburg, 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 Tilsonburg. Harvest. There are two guys standing in the sun. The smart guy has a straw hat on. We will call him Baldy because he is bald under his hat. A lot of men go bald. The other guy has suspenders. We will call him Joe or maybe Howard. Baldy and Joe Howard are pushing a really old wheelbarrow, the kind you might find at Don McNeil's store in Brussels. They are measuring around the pumpkin with a measuring tape. Maybe they are taking their pumpkin to the Port Elgin Pumpkin Fest. Maybe they are entering in the competition. They are probably thinking about winning the competition, or maybe they are just thinking about pumpkin pie. The weather is a little chilly, but there is a little bit of sunshine. It is a little fresh. Baldy and Joe Howard could be near Belgrave because they have a patch there. They have been taking care of the pumpkins right from the beginning when they planted them. They probably fertilized the pumpkins and then kept the patch clean by taking the weeds out. In the background, it looks like there is a coral for cattle. These days, you would see more modern things in the coral, like a tractor. Now Baldy and Joe Howard will go to the Port Elgin Pumpkin Fest. The Pumpkin Fest has been going on for a very long time. <laughs>